my world moves virtually at the speed of light, spinning spirally in space towards a future that's full of promises, full of dreams. I choose to be real with my dreams. I choose to find myself in a place where my dreams are beautifully shaped and nurtured. A haven of true knowledge and light. A place where I learn to live my life. Situated next to the Philippine seat of power, with campuses in the country's major hubs of business and commerce, culture and history, Centro Escolar University is the place where the highest forms of human thought, talent, and creativity blend together for a unique learning experience. The Scholarian education is anchored on the university's twin philosophy, Scientia e Virtù, science and virtue, the pursuit of knowledge guided by the highest ideals of humanity. The Scholarian education produces graduates who are empowered by timely knowledge and skills and inspired by timeless virtues to contribute to human and societal development.
this is where my dreams are set in motion and begin to turn into reality. The ultimate place of an unforgettably exciting and life-changing education. CEU is my choice, my future, my move. Greetings dear friends, let us become aware of the indwelling presence of God within us, around us and remaining in that gracious presence of God. Let us pray. Let's thank God for all the gifts and blessings, especially for the gift of women in our midst. Let's surrender our lives, all that we are and we have into his providential care and we pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen heavenly father we thank you for your great love for us we gratefully remember the gift of dunya librada avlino to us she was an instrument of god's love and generosity in the midst of needy people especially for women she dedicated alive for the education and empowerment of young women and children. May her values continue to inspire many and influence the lives of women leaders. We know and believe that every blessing and joy flow from your hands to us. We ask that you bring healing to every woman here who is feeling broken. We ask that you give strength 
to every woman here who is feeling weary. We ask that you bring freedom to every woman here who is feeling shame. We ask that you bring joy to every woman here who is feeling sadness. We ask that you bring faith to every woman here who is experiencing doubt. And may we be filled with your love and your spirit. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Greetings to all Escolarians. Greetings to friends. Once again, we shall enjoy moments of bliss from the music made by our students. In my message, I would like to pose the question, is music just for entertainment? As is usual these days, I turn to the internet for some readings on what music does to us, how it affects us. Of course, I was careful about the sources in the net and made sure that they are reliable. I was quite surprised by the sites listed at the top of my search results. In the top 10 was greatergood.berkeley.edu, a site run by the Greater Good Science Center of the prestigious University of California, Berkeley. Another one at the top of the list was hopkinsmedicine.org run by the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Johns Hopkins Hospital and Health System. I was pleasantly surprised by what I read from these reliable sources, and I was doubly pleased to deduce from these readings that music supports CEU's maxim, Scientia e Virtud, Science and Virtue. In addition, the sources cite not opinions, but results of research on how music affects people. Allow me to relate 
what the resources say about how music affects our brains. Johns Hopkins researchers found that there is a powerful brain music connection and that music provides, quote, total brain workout, unquote. They conclude that listening to new music, music of a different genre from what we usually listen to, stimulates creativity because the unfamiliarity forces the brain to struggle to understand the new sound, thus stimulating the brain to think of new ideas. Other studies also show how listening to music helps in learning. It was originally concluded by some that listening to music improves one's IQ, but scientists found that that is an oversimplification or an overstatement of the results of the studies. Subsequent studies showed that listening to music does not actually make us smarter, but rather raises our level of enjoyment and decreases our feelings of stress, which in turn helps us focus on a task or situation. These studies show that music is so much more than just a source of entertainment. It is an important part of our lifetime of learning. It was certainly gratifying to read that music, in fact, supports one of our university core values, that of lifelong learning. The Greater Good Source from UC Berkeley, on the other hand, points out how music can help us become better persons. They report that research suggests that music may have the power to invoke good deeds in us. Music that make us happy and feel good about ourselves may make us more likely to give of ourselves, be more kind and more generous. Tobias Greitemeyer, professor in the School of Psychology at the University of Innsbruck, in Austria found that listening to songs with pro-social lyrics like Michael Jackson's Heal the World or Bob Sinclair's Love Generation have the effect of increasing interpersonal empathy. He suggests that repeated exposure to pro-social media may have, may prove to have profound positive effects on pro-social behavior. There are many more studies we can read about, but the point I would like to make is that music has a way of stimulating in us the application of the university's maxim, Scientia e Virtud. What a wonderful connection and one we should explore more. We therefore would like to congratulate and give our profound appreciation to our music maestros in CEU, Mr. Fredolin Parin of the CEU Concert Band, Mr. Marciana Viri of the CEU Folk Dance Troupe, and the conductors of the CEU Singers, Mr. Herman de Guzman for Malolos, Mr. Lester Delgado for Makati, and Mr. Angelito Iran Jr for Manila. Our gratitude goes as well to Dr. Carlito Olaer, who heads together with, with Mr. Jun Iran, the CEU Presidential Committee on Culture and the Arts, for their untiring shepherding of the engagement of members of the CEU community through their promotion of culture and the arts. Allow me to make an additional mention of Mr. Marciano Viri, who is directing today's event that celebrates the birthday of our founder and first president, Maestra Librada Avellino, and Women's Month. It is most fitting to celebrate these two events together 
because it was the vision of Maestra Ada that women, through education, shall make significant contribution to national development. Papuri kay Maestra Ada. Papuri sa mga kababaihan. Papuri sa dakilang Centro Escolar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Escolarians. The CU Presidential Committee on Culture and the Arts and the CU Students Affairs Office proudly present Maestra Ada, Pagdiriwang ng Kababaihan, a tribute to Lola Ada. As a woman of vision and our celebration of the Women's Month for its annual presentation for school year 2021-22. Maestra Ada, Pagdiriwang ng Kababaihan, a tribute to Lola Ada highlights the events and the people of CEU who had contributed greatly in the world of culture and the arts. As advocated, of course, by the CEU founder herself, Doña Librada Avilino. This year's cultural presentation is participated in by CEU resident performing groups and individual artists from its community. Tonight, we will bring you to a travelogue to the rich history of CEU and the people of its community that make our university a great one. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Inspired by the patriotic movement to nationalize schools and cognizant of a need for an adequate center of learning for Filipino women, which would anchor them firmly in the tenets of science and virtue, and so prepare them for an ideal womanhood, intelligent citizenry, and democratic leadership, Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna, founded on June 3, 1907, the Centro Escolar de Señoritas.
It was in 1930 when the Centro Escolar began to operate as a university because of the immediate need to cope with the difficulties of the times and the enlargement of the school which became imperative, 
the Centro Escolar was converted into a corporation in 1932, two years before the death of Doña Librada Avellino. Immediately after the death of Doña Avellino in November 1934, the Centro Escolar was reorganized and incorporated as Centro Escolar University. During those times, the Manila Carnaval was beginning to attract more and more audiences because of the grandiose pageantry of Filipinas being crowned as Miss Philippines.
Many years have passed, CEU became one of the leading universities in the country, producing world-class professionals in different fields. Today, let us celebrate our pride as our fellow Escolarians continuously dominate the world. The numerous Escolarian alumni who follow the advocacy of Lola Ada are now creating their own name in the world of performing arts, film and broadcast, sports, politics, and even beauty pageants. Now, let us all be inspired by their talent and story. Dr. Alfredo Santos Buenaventura. Hindi pa ako nag-aaral sa konservatorio. Ay conductor na ako ng banda sa Bulacan. At noon ay nakakaharap ko sa mga konserto si Profesor San Pedro, Profesor De Leon, Profesor Rubio, yung mga ibang humahawak pa ng banda. At kapaposan nila, Nasa murang edad ko, na labing anin na taon, ay nakalaganap na ako ng mga pagkumpas na maayos <coughs> at nakaunlad ko ang aking banda. Kaya iyang mga maestro ko ngayon ay nag-agaw-agawan para ako ay mag-aral sa konservatorio. Kinuha ako ni Maestro Molina sa ni De Leon Pilipo de Leon, sa CEU, at doon ako nag-aaral. At doon ako nakapagtapos ng composition and conducting. Wala hanggan ang aking pasasalamat sa Centro Sura University. Diyan ako nag-aaral. Diyan ako naging dekano. Diyan ako na at ako nagkaroon ng napakalaking pangalan sa larangan ng, ng musika ng dahil sa mga natutuhan ko sa inibasidad. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakasama ko na alam na alam ko na nung panahon ko ay paboritong paborito ako ng lahat ng mga tao riyan mula sa janitor hanggang ka ito kitulukang presidente ay mahal na mahal ako sapagat marunong akong magmahal ng mga tao, ng mga apa ko tao. Magmula sa janitor, magmula hanggang sa, nasabi ko na hanggang sa presidente, ay paborito, paborito, mahal na mahal ako.
My name is uh, Ricky Rosales. I am the head of uh, the communication and media program of Centro Escolar University and um, assistant professor of the program at the same time. Um, I have been with CEU for 14 years, 14 solid years. I started as a lecturer and then as a uh, regular or permanent um, faculty uh, member. Uh, aside from my uh, teaching job. I am also a broadcast journalist. I uh, am uh, already uh, in my 18th year in the broadcast journalism industry. Um, I started in a local radio station in Batangas, Batangas City. And then in uh, 2004, I flew here in Metro Manila to work with uh, DWIZ 882 Radio under the Alien Broadcasting Corporation. And then in 2009, ABS-CBN opened its doors uh, for me. I started as a news break announcer and then was given the opportunity to become a um, news anchor, commentator in their regular uh, primetime programs. So I have been in teaching and broadcasting at the same time for, for so many years. And uh, I should say that I enjoy seeing you so much because our students are um, not only good and talented, but they really have um, this, this, this kind of um, character that is um, very you know, peculiar, should I say, uh, as compared to others. Our students are very much disciplined. Our students are really value-oriented. And um, the, the thirst and hunger for knowledge is always there. To our um, students. So I enjoy both the academe and practice of journalism because in the academe I just put everything that I do in the practice and then in the practice I make use of my academic training in order to make sense of what I am doing in the broadcast journalism industry. Thank you so much.
ako po si Mr. Ed Abelardi Villarante. 78, 75 years old. At sa CEO po, at 20 years akong nagturo sa CEO. Exclusively sa College of Education, Liberal Arts, Music and Social Work. Napunta ako doon dahil kinumula ako ni Dean Paz Lucido para turuan yung mga ano yung mga technical para turuan gumamit ng tamang paghawak sa camera tawang, tamang angle at mga purpose ng mga shots yun ang pinaturo niya hanggang sa ang buong Mindyola Consortium pina kumuha sa bawat ano bawat university doon para i-train under the auspices of Dean Lucido. Yun ang simula ko dyan. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Marami pong salamat sa, ma sa community, sa CEO, community, faculty, administration, sa lahat ng professors, sa lahat ng mga crew na nakisama sa akin pinalakas ko lang ang loob nila laging salamat God bless po sa ating lahat I want to see a good production from CEO and I want to hear na bawat nakapanood pinupuri kayo na magaling Since 2015, we are the reigning champions of the WNCA cheerleading competition. And I can say that it has never been easy. But it's truly worth it, yes. Why? Because, you know, almost 90% of the members of our team do not have any background in cheerleading or even in dancing. Yes, meaning really started from scratch. Meaning it was all hard work and you know what our first win the first championship that we got we did not really expected it we just wanted to show the results of our sacrifices and of course when we won the challenge each year was not to beat the other teams but how we are going to beat our routine for the previous year because of course our aim is to improve consistently and of course to surpass what we have done the previous year so watch these performances of the CU Pep squad watch the God's powerful champion
CJ Andalus, Creative Director of Pixel Art Media Production Company. I feel honored to give you a message today with a wish that somehow you get something out of this. After all, I believe that inspiring others is one of the best ways you can give back to the world, and in this case, to my fellow Escolarians and my alma mater. But today I don't think there is really anything new I can still tell you. So consider this message more as a reminder from someone who's done things a bit earlier than you. After graduation, I had a chance to pursue various jobs related to what I learned in CU. Before deciding to put up my own company, it wasn't easy and I am proud to say that I had my own share of humble and humbling beginnings. Pixel art was born out of my passion and belief in myself that an Escolarian like me has a place in the industry. So the first reminder is to believe in yourself. Historically, there is always bias for students that have graduated from top universities, that even without knowing their capacity, people believe that they are good or will be good in their job. We have been overly underestimated, which unfortunately makes it more challenging. Yes, but that impossible to succeed. All you need is a foot in the door, a strong head to break your own glass ceiling, and a heart from where you will feel your passion. The world out there can be intimidating, ruthless, and competitive. Live with it and rise from it. Once you get your foot in the door, prove yourself not just to others, but most importantly, to yourself. Continue competing with yourself, because at the end of the day, the truth is you are only as good as your last piece of work. 
All these years, what got me to where I am today is my dream and my passion for what I do. Have a dream. Continue dreaming. They don't have to be big, bold, and audacious. You can start simple, and as each of your dreams come true, try to dream bigger and bigger. But don't forget that dreaming won't be enough. A dream and being passionate about your dreams a formidable combination. It is with passion that you can make your dreams come true. Good luck and thank you.
Basco, graduate of Central Escolar University Makati Dentistry, Batch 2019, and I am also Wish 1075 Wish Covery Season 2 Grand Champion. To be honest, dentistry, specifically the clinical phase, is not a walk in the park. This is proven by the case that I have to extend for another year to comply the patient requirements. Six years of studies turned to seven years. All this made me feel somewhat frustrated, questioning myself, why am I not singing to my heart's content? And sometimes having the doubt that dentistry might not be the right course for me. So then I prayed and asked God the same question. Soon after, He answered my prayer with a series of unexpected events. While trying out a video game machine in Glorieta, a person approached me and asked if I'm familiar with Wish 1075. Of course, I said yes, and the next thing I know, I was already inside the bus singing. While I was there, I asked who this person was, and to my surprise, he was the Vice President of Wish. It was also during that time when I learned that they were searching for college students to audition for an upcoming singing competition called Wish Coffee. Since then, a lot has happened. Viral videos helped me gain support and popularity as I represent CEU in the said singing competition. With this story, I could really say that God's plan is perfect. We might be experiencing challenges or disappointment at this moment, but we must first understand God's will for our lives has reason and purpose. He is building up something special for us. We just need to trust and have faith in Him. Seek God's will and plan for your life through obedience and prayer. Use this Bible verse same way as how I kept holding on to God's promise to gain a better understanding of His plan for your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Again, this is Rhea Basco. Thank you so much.
now, as we end tonight's program, let us all be inspired by our Escolayan performers and guests. And always bear in mind that it is never too late to start again. There will always be a tomorrow full of spirit and determination. Let us not forget the contribution of our fellow Escolarians as well as the legacy contributed by our founders to the propagation, of course, of culture and the arts. Now let us enjoy the bountiful fruits of what they have sown. After all, we are invited to develop finds and decency and the taste for the finer things in life, in thought, speech, and behavior. Now as we sing with one voice and move in one movement, let us all be united with one vision as we move forward and conquer the odds of these challenging times. This has been your host, Raf Gmail T. Mariano saying, Mabuhay ka, Maestra Ada, at mabuhay ang kulturang Pilipino. Kailan kaya darating sa buhay ko ang awiti magbibigay ng pag-asa sa buhay na walang sigla. Ngunit kung ating titingnan Ang buhay ay sa diyang ganyan Kailangan lang ng pag-ibig Sa bawat isa ang manain Ang pag-asa kung tayo'y magkakaisa Narito na ang bagong umaga Sabay-sabay na awitin Mula sa puso may pag-ibig Isang ibig Isang alawit Sa darating na bagong umaga Saan man ako mapunta Nais kong kayo ang makasama Sa darating na bagong umaga Pangakong hindi ka mag-iisa Oh, oh, oh.
Good evening po. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanonood. Thank you sa inyo, oh. President. Very good. Well done. <laughs> Another accomplishment. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you po, ma'am. Congratulations sa lahat. Congratulations. Bagong umaga. <laughs> Composition po yun, ma'am. Ano, Professor Lester, galing. Galing. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanood po. Oh. <laughs> Mara marami bang nanood din sa ating ano? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we had it check our Facebook and uh, YouTube. Yes. Uh, Nasa mga okay. 250 likes po lahat-lahat. Ah, very good. At saka ongoing naman po ito, ongoing. Oo. Uh -oh. How long usually yan na iniiwan sa YouTube, halimbawa? Depende po sa atin po. Uh, ah, I Pag see. hindi po natin i-remove na andyan lang po siya. Ah, ah ganun pala yun. Apo. <laughs> But maybe, do you remove? Do you remove? Normally, hindi po. Yung mga uh, ah, major events, hindi po namin tinatanggal. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Okay. Kakatuwa naman nandun na isama ninyo sila. Uh, si Ed Villarante. Opo. Mm -mm. Punta po kami sa bahay nila. Ito yung interview. Nagpunta. Saan ba siya nakatira? Sa Retiro po. Uh, yes, good. sa Del Monte yata. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. Very good. Congratulations. Thank tayo lang bang nandito sa backstage? Opo, tayo lang po ngayon. Yes, tayo tayo lang po. Wala sila. I'm going to say thank you po. And, uh, oh, I'll just say thank you to the others uh, by email. Opo. Sige, congratulations. Po. Pa thank, you, thank, you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Po. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tayo lang po ngayon. Thank you.